Touching the Void by Joe Simpson. Touching the Void is a true story by the man who actually lived through what the book is about. So let's talk about it. This is a Folio Society book. It comes with this black slip cover to protect the book. It's bound in what feels to me like cloth. We should try doing a little preparation here. And I'll tell you that it's bound in cloth and illustrated by Jeff Granfield. Move forward. This one was published in 2008. So being a Folio Society book, it's you know good quality, good binding, sewn binding, and acid-free paper and all that. I love the illustrations for this book. I feel like they just absolutely, they work perfectly with the text. This sort of, this, this black and white, this harsh almost kind of illustration. The story is about when Joe Simpson was climbing with a partner and the, uh, well, not getting into too much detail, the point is that it, there came a point when he was dangling on the end of a rope. There's a great illustration here. It's so evocative of what happened. Um, <laughs> I just want to find it. And he's on one end of a rope. Here we go. Just look at this. So there's... His partner is up here, attached to the rope. And then the rope goes down here. And that's where he is. And this is actually a very good depiction of what's going on. His partner is up here, slipping every few minutes, going a little bit further down, getting pulled down, down. He can't hold his position. The snow is giving way. He has no idea what Joe's situation is. Is Joe alive? Is Joe on the ground somewhere? They cannot communicate with each other. The, they're too far and there's too much wind. He can't even really communicate by pulling. Joe tries to devise a method for climbing up the rope, but his hands are cold and won't work properly. And he drops a tool that he needs in any way. The bottom line, and it's not a spoiler, because this is what a lot of the book is about, is that the partner is going to be pulled off the cliff if he doesn't cut the rope. And he cuts the rope. And Joe falls into a crevasse, deep into a crevasse, so that this guy can't even see where he is. He's just gone. And he assumes that Joe is dead. I think it's important to point out that Joe, throughout the book and throughout his life, has always said that his partner did exactly the right, made exactly the right decision, did exactly the right thing, and that he doesn't blame him for any of the things that he did. Joe ends up in a crevasse, and he's broken in parts, and he has no water, and what happens? That's, that's the bulk of the book. There's a, a fair amount of the book just getting to this point, and it's all good. It's all really, really interesting. And his descriptions of and depictions of what it's like to be in the situation he's in are just fantastic. They really put you there, which sometimes isn't a great thing because you don't want to be in that position, that's for sure to orient you. This is his helmet and this is him lying like this with his legs. Like this. Those are his crampons, I guess, and his ice axe. One thing that he said that always stood out to me, he was stuck in this crevasse deep, deep, deep. And he tried to climb out, but he failed. He was not able to for a variety of reasons. So what do you do? He knows that he can't climb out. So he climbed down further, deeper into the crevasse. And his reasoning was, you just have to do something. If you just sit there, you know you're going to die. It, it, it's not going to work out. You have to make a decision and do something. And so he climbed down, 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 which a lot of people would have been terrified to do. It's a great book. They made a documentary about it as well, which is also really well done, and I recommend that as well. In any case, here we are, Touching the Void, Joe Simpson. This is a Folio Society edition that I recommend.